This Thursday, a brand new Joker movie is going to be in theaters. That's right. The last Joker movie broke box office records, and this one with stars like Lady Gaga attached to it could do the exact same. ABC 10's Marcus Allen is all over this. You sat down with Lady Gaga herself. His yeah. real name is Stephanie Germanata. And I've had the pleasure of hanging out with Stephanie a few times. Last time I cried through the whole thing because the star is born. And remember when this last movie came out, The Joker, a lot of people said, wait, Todd Phillips is directing it? The guy who brought us The Hangover, and The Hangover 2, and The Hangover 3, now doing a very serious attempt at a superhero movie? Yes, he did, and it not only got nominated for the Academy Award, but won the Academy Award for Joaquin Phoenix. Can it happen for Lady Gaga? Maybe. She's brilliant in it. I sat toe-to-toe -to -toe with her to talk about her director and the passion. Listen. This was such a bold way to tell this story, and I just wanted to give him everything that he could possibly need to work with so that he could he could tell the story that was in his heart. And speaking of heart, at the heart of it, it's a love story. She loves this guy. And I, I've heard you say that much like a Manson girl loved Manson. Mm -hmm. What do you think she sees in it? You know, I, I try to blend uh, my research of Manson girls also with like true love. And uh, I really thought a lot about empathy and compassion. And we argued a lot on set about this. Um, you know, there was a lot of discussion around how she loved Joker. And I, I always, as, you know, bringing the perspective of a woman, I always was saying, no, she loves Arthur too. And I think her empathy and love for Arthur was, um, was real, but I think also her love and obsession with Joker was dangerous because she was willing to provoke Arthur to meet Joker. And, you know, I, I always thought that that was kind of, you know, more dangerous than, than Lee lighting a match, I thought was the fact that she was willing to do that. So true. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for all you do to make the world a better place. Thank you. And she does make the world a better place. She donates so much money to so many different charities. Now back to the movie. Could she win the Oscar? Maybe. She is brilliant in it. The cinematography is brilliant. Joaquin is better than he was the first time around. And keep in mind, he won the Academy Award that time. So we'll see. It opens 30 in theaters everywhere. Joker, fallait à deux. But nobody says that. They don't even call it that. There, there are some people who might say that some young ladies like to go for the bad boy. Is this a case in point of that happening? Well, I mean, to that point, I went straight to Charles Manson in my interview. Oh, uh, you reference. did. You went right for it. And she said, yeah, very much the same thing going on in this movie. It, it's a love story at the end of the day and a little bit of a musical. And how she provokes him to become the Joker. She likes that. Yeah, you'll see. You wow. will see. You're right. On, you, you hit the nail on the There's head. There's so sir. much going on in that. All right, Marcus Allen, thank yeah. you. And again, that's out Thursday.